Welcome back everybody. Today I'd like to discuss the importance of imagination for stroke recovery. Um, this approach was first given to me by my amazing physio who at the point where I couldn't move anything at all, I'd just lie in hospital all day. I couldn't move a muscle on my left side of my body. She'd say, picture yourself, imagine yourself walking, imagine yourself running, imagine yourself playing guitar. She really pushed it on me and I wasn't sure, I wasn't sold on it at first, but it was, it's absolutely crucial. If you can't see yourself doing it, you will never do it, ever. And I'm not even making this up because this book, The Brain That Changed Itself, which is the most profound book on neuroplasticity, half of the book is dedicated to imagination, okay? So I'm not even making this up. So use your imagination and use voluntary constraint therapy and you will recover from a stroke.